Hey everyone, Josh here. So today, instead of fixing stuff, we're gonna be potentially wrecking stuff on this BEW TDI. So if you've Googled how to make cheap power or how to roll coal uh, with the TDI, you're probably gonna see the every mod. But there's a bit of a difference here with the BEW. A lot of the videos or the forum posts on how to do the every mod, you're gonna see them bridging some pins in here with some resistors or with a potentiometer. Uh, the issue is if you look at this compared to this you're going to see a pretty obvious difference uh, you're going to find some connectors down here but they're not going to look the same and that's because the 04 to 06 engines are pd engines pump deuce or pumpy deucey or pumpy deuce. i don't really know how you want to pronounce it but pd for short so this is a completely different injection system and the every mod is not going to work but we're going to try something else here so the every mod what it's going to do so you've got the pump stroke and it's gonna have a feedback signal to the ECU. And when you put a potentiometer in there, it's gonna say it's only stroking half the distance. So then it's gonna double it. So now you can inject a pile of fuel so much that you can basically stall the engine out from too much fuel. And there's no computer controls. You're gonna have to kind of trick because there's nothing telling it that there's too much fuel. All it knows is it needs more. So with the PD engines, there's gonna be a different way to do it. We're going to first fool the fuel temp sensor and we're gonna fool the mass sensor so this should give us more fuel and this is gonna get rid of our smoke limiter so we should have more fuel hopefully so next week i'm going to make a video on comparing this resistor mod to a stage two malone tune possibly and to a tune that i made myself in a few hours so we're gonna do Big comparison between these all three but right now we're going to be doing strictly the resistor diode mod so you go to your favorite online retailer or you can drive to radio shack or <laughs> best buy wherever you want to go try and get them where they're taped together not 150 pack of loose resistors so the forum post i saw so it said pd 150s you should have down to 150 ohms and then the pd 130s should have 300 ohms which we didn't get either of those engines. So I played around with it a little bit and I've settled on 100 ohms. So that's lower yet and it's gonna say it's very hot fuel. And then for our math, we've got a one and 4148 diode. So this can only go in one way. So a scan tool is gonna to help you to make sure it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. So here, let's uh, install this stuff and see what happens. Okay, so up first, we're gonna fool the temperature sensor. Cause I don't need it running for this. So 15 degrees, so that's about shop temperature. So you can see intake air and coolant temperature, they're all around 15 degrees and this car hasn't ran yet today. So that's making sense. So if we go to our coolant temp sensor and unplug it, it's now going to default to 40 degrees Celsius. 39.6 pretty close and then if we stick our 100 ohm resistor that you fold over and put a little leg on it we're gonna plug that right into the plug there okay so that's looking pretty nice there now now we're at 129 degrees celsius so those forum posts, they said it should be about 120 or so. And I'm not sure how hot we can get it, but 129 degrees is pretty hot. So next we're going to fool the MAFS airflow sensor. Okay, so now we've got it running here. We've got exhaust gas recirculating spec, which is 455 and actual is 420. Um, so I believe this is a EGR delete tune on here right now, but everything else should be stock. So that's reading 100.6. So that's saying there's gonna be no EGR. So this is what the math is seeing. So if I rev it up, you see a little bit more, but the actual didn't really climb up there very far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump that mass airflow sensor and that should peg at 1275 if you have it in right. Okay, so with it unplugged, it's only gonna see 550. So it doesn't matter what you do it's gonna stay at 550. So that's gonna be limiting some fueling. Um, so 
the forum posts that talk about this, so they say jump between one and six or four and five. So this BEW, it doesn't have a pin in number one and the connector is only five pin spots. So I don't have either of those. So I'm gonna go four and five here now. So with this unplugged, four and five. So we're gonna bridge these two here. So there's four and five, and that's what my diode looks like. And now, we are pegged to 1275, so there should be zero smoke limiter. So this should be max fuel that we can get doing this mod. Okay, so we got it all installed here now, so I smoked a little bit, but a BEW with a worn cam will do that as well. So we're gonna go out to road and we're gonna try it with a draggy. We're gonna do stock, we're gonna do just the uh, fuel temp sensor jump, and then we'll do it with both. And it's a good time to state that this isn't the great mod. It's not gonna be great for it. Um, you're gonna be rolling coal, so you're gonna have unwanted attention to your car. So do this at your own will. It's going obviously going to be affecting injection, like the start of injection. So it probably isn't the healthiest for your engine, but we're doing budget mods. So we're going to give this a try. So doing a little bit of driving here with the diodes and resistors in and out and kind of seeing what's going on here. Um, so we've got a few issues. So it does make a big difference, uh, low RPM, low speed. But once we get into the higher speed, we're hitting a torque limitation there. So this is Newton meters, so it's hitting a limiter at 276 newton meters while the driver request is at 320 and same thing with the math jumped the smoke limitation is also at 320 so the, it's actually cutting fuel to save the um, clutch so low speed like in through town you'll see it's fairly smoky but highway speeds you're not going to notice a really big difference here so i'm going to show uh, what it's doing and then we're going to get to the draggy Okay, so now you see smoke limitation there, that's maxed out. I'm at idle here again, and then you can see driver request, foot to the floor was 320. Um, but, just film here for a second. Right, so now we're gonna give stock a try here and see if it's any better or worse. Sixty. One hundred. Okay, so fuel jumper or fuel resistor and the MAF diode. Sixty. One hundred. Okay, so this is just going to be the MAF diode. The fuel temp jumper is out. seen another post where they said colder fuel is better so basically the thought is really hot fuel is less dense so you're going to require more of it and obviously more fuel the other theory is really cold fuel it's a lot more thicker and it's going to take longer to inject so you get more fuel that way so we have a 41,000 ohm resistor in there now for minus 20.6 so we're going to compare hot fuel cold fuel stock and then with the uh, math jumpered. So we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so doing cold fuel again, math still jumpered. 
Uh, we had a terrible launch last time, so we're gonna give this another try. It was really slow, but we're gonna try again. we're back now got everything back out of it so i definitely felt like my stock launch was the best out of the three videos uh, as you can kind of see that in that zero to um, 60 foot um, but then it definitely having both of these in made the biggest difference and then just the um, math jumper was kind of in between so i definitely teamwork makes the dream work here but stay tuned for next week I think that limiter is still going to be limiting us somewhat, obviously, so we'll get the stage two tune in it, and then we'll also try my uh, homemade one and kind of compare to all three. In that video, we're gonna do fuel consumption as well. So that's, uh, it'll be a bit more in-depth of a video. But anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully this helped.